I want to talk about remakes. Some are good, some are bad, some are cash grabs, some are made with love, others, yeah, shouldn't exist in the first place. So I'm gonna be ranking five DVD of five DVD remakes from best to worst. Starting off at number five is The Crazies. I was actually shocked that this is a remake. It's really great for a remake. Yeah, the original came out in 1973. I saw the watch that one, but I can definitely say the remake lives up to the original. <laughs> it is really great. All the characters are likable. I feel bad for all of them that they had to go through what they went through. It's by far one of the best infection movies you can ever watch. <laughs> I highly recommend this one. Number four is Silent Night Remake. I seen the first one. I didn't know the first one had like four sequels. But, <clears throat> I mean, this one is a faithful one. It's a reimaginative of the um, original new story. They redid one of the kills in the movie, which is okay. I mean, I like the idea. I like the idea of someone punishing <coughs> criminals for what they done and got away with. So the Santa will only murder you if you've been naughty, like commit crimes or stuff like that. I I do really like that concept. I really do. <coughs> All right, number three is Puppet Master remake. I mean, I like the characters in this, but the story, it banks off the Holocaust. So in this timeline, on well, yeah, the Puppet Master timeline is kind of here, there, everywhere. Kind of really difficult to follow. <sighs> but in this timeline, instead of running from the Nazis... Andre Toulon joins the Nazis, makes his puppets assassins to kill Jews and use them to assassinate other people. So, yes. I'm not crazy about the big change of that, but it had good kills. Over 40 kills, that's a lot. The ending's a bit... I kind of wish the ending had an alternate ending, but whatever. And number two of the worst remakes I've seen. My Bloody Valentine. 3D. Don't know why they made the movie 3D. But whatever. I prefer the original over... Well over this one. The kills are good. It's... The story kind of doesn't make sense in this one. I prefer the original ending over this one's ending. It's... Uh... I mean, it's a type of movie where you want to watch once. Maybe twice, and then never again. <clears throat> and now I have the worst remake I have ever seen. <sighs> Halloween 2. Family is forever. I have a lot to say but I'm gonna keep it brief because I don't want this video to be over an hour long <clears throat> I hated this movie it started off good then it got worse got a bit better and then it got much worse 
The reason why I don't like this one is it's a sequel to the remake called Rob Zombie's Halloween, but it feels like a different director took over. <clears throat> it feels like Pet Cemetery 2. It feels like they do a Pet Cemetery 2. It doesn't feel like it fits with the the previous film. <sighs> All every character in this movie is out of character. Michael is trying to be Norman Bates or Jason. I don't know. He's talking to his dead mom. Which he never did in the original Halloween movies. In the 2018 remake, he never did. <clears throat> Though I do want to question whatever happened to Michael's parents. That you see them once in the original story, but then never again. You see Pamela in Friday the 13th, but you never see her husband. Uh, anyway, the reason I don't like this movie, all the characters are out of character for some reason. Loomis went from protecting Laurie to being a big shot guy who's drunk on power, who doesn't care about anyone else. Laurie is now a... Uh, a whiny brat that whines throughout throughout the entire movie, complaining that she's the only victim. She's the only one that was affected by um the the events of the previous film. I mean, Annie got Annie went went through horror too, and she's not acting like Lori. The only character that was good in this movie was Sheriff Brackett. The scene where Brackett finds his Annie dead, that is a powerful scene, yes. <clears throat> it makes me cry every time I watch the movie. Every time I see that scene, I cry. Uh, I'm sorry. The ending is confusing. Michael speaks, which totally breaks his character even more. Uh... Again, right, <clears throat> to be, wait, okay, just, to be blunt, to be blunt, the, yeah, it seems that this movie tried to do Final Girl, but Final Girl did this way better than this movie, <clears throat> the movie, fine, yeah, I would highly suggest Final Girl over this movie, Final Girl is a movie about, the movie begins, like, at the end of a horror movie, like, what happens to the final girl after, you know, she defeats the killer? Like, whatever happens. The movie explains that. Halloween tried to do that with <clears throat> this second one. Rob Zombie didn't want to make a Halloween 2. But people kept bugging him to do it, and so he did. And it's clear that he did not make this without care and love. It's somewhat... Yeah, this movie is a, a heaping mess. <sighs> it does have a few good moments in it, but it, it's, it's not enough to save this movie. <clears throat> like I said, Final Girl did it better. In Final Girl, the main character is a female, and it, yeah, the movie ends, the movie begins with the ending of a whole movie. Main character gets a weapon, attacks killer. Killer kills all the girl's friends. And then the guy, then the girl, walks off bloody into the road. Car stops, picks her up, takes her to the hospital. And then the movie takes place some months later. The girl has a job, or maybe already had a job. And the female apparently believes she's seeing the killer. The movie, yeah, wants you to believe either one of two things. The killer's still alive somehow, well, it's a horror movie, so, so why not? Or B, is it all in her head? And the movie plays a few of that. I mean, it does make you, it is a really more, it's a better movie than this movie. Okay, so that's my list of remakes ranked from best to worse. I should make a top 10 eventually once I get more remake DVDs. 
<sighs> anyway, I kind of want to know what you think about remakes or reboots. What was the best remake you ever watched, or what was the worst remake you watched? Comment below. Alright, stay safe everyone. Bye.